Welcome back, Nancy Nerds, to the Legend of the Crystal Skull. All right, I waited, and you guys have given me some hints on how to do this. Um, so I need the sneezing powder. You guys did tell me that. This might come in handy. Okay. And then it goes all the way on the left. Uh huh. Right here, I think. No. Is that what you guys said? It goes on the left. No, you guys were saying that what happens here is on the left. Okay, that's what it was. So when I push this, it lifts this up. But you said not. That's not what I need right now. I need to do something with the left. <laughs> That doesn't quite cut it. Something with the left, left of, left of this, like here? Put something here? Is that Still what you guys are talking more. about? Oh, well, it's not the bowling ball. Is it this? I don't know what I'm doing. Is it that? I'm getting there, no. I think. Is it? Oh, and then the fan has to go where the plug is, which is right there, which makes sense. Okay. If the fan goes there, then I'm guessing the boat goes next to it. And then the boat can do something. I have no idea. But what goes here? A book? Does the book go there? Close, but no cigar. Nope. Does the hula girl go there? Still need some work. No? Alright, what else? A record? A record player? Oh! Close, but no cigar. Okay, so the record player goes there. Does the hula lady dance? Because that doesn't make any sense, but... Um, okay, so maybe the hula lady dances, which will... I don't know. Books? Books? Which will knock over books. Which will knock that over, which will throw the sneezing powder. I don't want to... No, I think maybe that goes up here. Does the head go there? Because the other heads are here. And then that comes up here, which does that, which does that. Which... Pokes that, which... Like that? I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. We good? Oh, I got a lot of this right. No, it's not supposed to do that? Okay, so then that must go up there? So what goes here then? The bowling ball? Does that go there? Okay, uh, the teeth, maybe? <laughs> what record is this? That doesn't quite cut it. But that's everything. Do I put nothing there? Well, I've got the right idea. Oh, it pops. 
drops the balloon. Okay, so the teeth go here then? to go there. Does it go here? knock it over and then maybe this is up here I don't know what's going on do it. Um, Lamont, could you help me? Sure, what do you need? Um, I can't quite reach that bottle up there. Could you get it for me? Sure. Oh, jeez. Something. What do you need? No spray. Back room. No spray. Back room. Got it. All right. Let's go. Come on, Bess. No spray. Back room. Here we go. But we're gonna snoop along the way. Time to be snoopy. Bruno and something. A lizard. All right. There's the costume. Laverne was just one what was just wondrous this summer. We both stayed in the south of France for only a few days to visit some old friends. L'Oreal spent far too much time in the kitchen. Golden bro braised pork, shoulder roast with turnips and roasted plums, and an entire quail wrapped in puff pastry. We brought only the simple chocolate cake from the street market. That was our dinner. She does things like that, you see. Always trying to show up the guests. That's how she is. Uh, I must be off to the post quickly before the fog rolls in. I'm expecting parcels. We hope that all is well. Please keep in touch. Most cordially, Amelia. Hamlet? Okay, some of these don't exist. Interesting. Uh, what? I, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. Where's your nose spray? I need to go through that box for Nancy, then get the nose spray for Lamont. Oh, I did go through the box. But how do I open? I can't, how do I open this? Bruno, maybe? Do I type in Bruno? Bruno. No. Uh, Nancy, what do I do? What do I do, Nancy? I'm panicking! Nancy! 
And see I'm panicking. Hello? I found out that receipt is for a box of stuff that Lamont, that's the guy who owns Zeke's, bought from Henry Bollet. Oh. No kidding. What kind of stuff did Henry sell him? Well, the box is in the back room, and it contains assorted unknown items, and that's all Lamont would tell me. Said something about not wanting to get anyone in trouble. But you'll be happy to know that I have snuck into said back room and can tell you exactly what's in the box. Excellent. Let's hear it. Okay. I found a really old photo of a boy and a dog, and there was a photo of an iguana dressed up like a pirate. What? You heard me. And there's a costume in the box of a skeleton man. Really? Thought you'd like that. There's also a box that's locked by some kind of letter combination and that has two pieces of paper stuck to it. On the first piece is a bunch of goofy stuff written by someone named Amelinda, and on the second is a bunch of numerical references to passages from Hamlet, some of which don't even exist according to a note that I think Lamont made. Did you unlock the box? No, I have no idea how. Well, maybe there's something on those two pieces of paper that'll tell you. I'm not going to open the box. Yes, you are. You have to. There could be something really important inside. Because of me, Lamont's out there having a sneezing conniption. I need to get him some nose spray before he breaks some part of his body I didn't even know he had. Exactly. Yes, please. We've got to be thorough. And you've come too far to give up now. You can do it. I know you can. Oh, all right. Awesome. Maybe I can help you. Yes. If you've got any suggestions, I sure wouldn't mind hearing them. Okay. okay. My guess is that some kind of code is involved. Uh -huh. You said that there are numerical references on the second page? Yes. Yeah, to passages from Hamlet. Maybe all that matters is the individual numbers and what order they're in. Try applying the numbers to what Amalinda wrote. Like, if okay. the first number's three, write down what the third letter is. Okay. And if the second number's five, I count five letters from there and write it down. Oh. Okay, I can do this. I won't call you again until after I've opened it. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so it is one, three, thirty-two. Eight, three, six, eight, fourteen, four, and one, twelve, X. Okay. So one is L. One, two, three. So do I go three from there? Or three from the beginning. One, two, three, so V. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nineteen. Twenty, twenty, one, nineteen. Twenty-three. Twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two is E. Okay. Okay, and then I guess I start the next sentence. So this is eight, three, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight is T, and then twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then L, and then X. Okay, I don't think this is right, but whatever. L, yeah, because see, V isn't an option. So that can't be right. So one, and then one, two, three, maybe it's E. So L, E, and then 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. D. And then an X, I guess. Oops. Alright, so L, E, B. E, N, U. N, D, T. N, D, T. O, D. Oh, it worked! Okay, what is this? Dear Bolette, this completes our transaction. The Whisperer wow, is now this is yours. Weird. 
I better call Nancy and read this to her word for word. Affect its power as my grandfather found out. Wow, okay. Bess, that is weird. No, I'll tell you what's weird. The box the letter is in is padded, and it has this round indentation in it that's the exact size of a human skull. A crystal skull? It's like it used to contain a skull, but now it doesn't. A crystal skull. Good job, Bess. I'm gonna poke around here and see if I can find out anything about a skull called the Whisperer. You better go take care of Lamont. Would you believe it? The guy is still sneezing. Jeez. He must keep nose spray around because something's wrong with his sinuses. Oh, he's gonna hate me. Aww. Okay, well, that was quite the adventure. I got it open. Let's go confront Henry. Oops, I went the wrong way. Because Henry has been selling stuff. Henry is not there. Let's go tell Renee. Hello again. Never mind. I'll leave you to your potting. Take care, hon. Okay. Oh, I got the key to the mausoleum. Let's go find the mausoleum. Ooh, not that. Let's not do that. Okay. So I think the mausoleum is this way and then this way. Yes. Woo, look at me. <laughs> The painting that goes in that empty oh. frame. I found the painting. Let's let's go put the painting back and see if Henry's back. Oh, did I go the wrong way? Yeah, I did, didn't I? Gosh dang it! Here we go. There we go. Okay, so apparently Henry is really sad about his parents, I think. Henry, you okay? You okay, buddy? Yes. Okay, we'll ignore it that we ever saw you crying. Big, giant alligator tears. I'll let you get back to work. Okay, bye. Sounds good. All right. Well, let's go put the painting back. Let's go do that. Okay, so let's put this back. This is the least I can do. Get something done today. There we go. It's back. Apparently, uh... I don't tell anyone about that. Do, does Renee care that I found that in the tomb? Does anyone care? Do I care? Hello again. I'd better get going. Come see me anytime. All right, I guess nobody cares. Interesting. Well, uh, that is all the time that I have for this episode today. So we did get quite a bit done as best. That was interesting. Thank you again so much for the hints. Uh, let me know below what I should be doing next. Um, I got into the tomb and found the painting, but apparently nobody cares. So I guess I need to keep finding eyeballs. That seems to be a theme, is eyeballs. So maybe I will go on the look for more eyeballs next time. So drop a like and share this video with your friends and let me know what I should do next. See you guys in the next mystery. Bye.